This is a basic breeding tank of um, refined over the last few years. It's the bottom. It's got a hundred litres of water. Two bits of driftwood. A uh, UVB fluoro. Over there on the right, you can just see it. And a heat bulb for basking on the left. It's heat and keeps the atmosphere quite dry because you don't want it too humid. Despite the frogs having sort of a humid appearance to their skin, I mean, if they want to get wet or hydrate themselves, they can jump in the water. That's what it's for. And having a large body of water just makes it much easier to keep stable. Um, I never clean the filter out unless it blocks up. Because basically that's got the good bacteria and that keeps the water stable. I do turn it off when it's egg time, but um, it depends what approach you take. You can either add algae to the water. We're trying a few different approaches on that, on that front because we're still having trouble with um, with backbones malforming. So, all in good time, I hope to refine the actual process a bit more, but to just obtain eggs from your frogs, or, well, hopefully fertile eggs, so you get tadpoles. All you really need is a tank with water, 10 to 15 centimetres deep. This is for the golden bell frog. And you can use rain chambers or sprinklers along the top. You put that on at night time for a couple of hours. But you don't really need it if you can download some frog calls off the internet and just record that and play it back to them. Um, you need to condition the frogs first, fatten them up. <laughs> It's about seven, six, seven years old. You need to fatten them up, condition them first, warm it up. It's only 24.9 at the moment. We'll probably breed them at about 26 degrees. But they will breed from anything from about 22 to about 30. Possibly go higher, but things get a bit stupid at, that, at higher temperatures. So yeah, that's about all there is to it. Feed them up. Turn the frog calls on once they're um, in good condition. Keep your water changes up. I mean, like maintenance wise, all I ever do with this sort of tank is take out the um, solids off the bottom, just with the hose, siphon it straight out into a bucket. 20 litres or 40 litres at a time. I do that at least once or twice a week. And just top it up with cold water, preferably filtered so you've got no chlorine and whatnot. And uh, yeah, should be all good. Hope that helps someone. We could possibly keep a few more frogs in here, but I mean, each female can produce a few thousand eggs. So really one spawn is enough to keep you busy for a wee while. These males have croaked a couple of times but not yet, which is good. I want them to fatten up for another week probably. There's no hurry. I haven't really got any ponds at the moment, being winter and not not, so probably just turn the filter off, chuck some algae in here once the eggs have been laid and uh, raise what I can indoors and then when spring comes you can just fill troughs or ponds or whatever you can and then 10,000 eggs per female if that absolute condition this would be a big female
even still I only expect two or three thousand eggs. So you might end up with a thousand tadpoles or something. They're still um still still enough to keep me busy. Where's my camera, man? Crikey. If I grab one of these crickets. <laughs> I don't think that frog has moved in the last week. Because I keep hand feeding it. it, just sits there, getting fatter and fatter. I got this one in 2008, which was already sort of, I think it was already an adult, would have been close to it anyway. Not quite as big as this, but. Even still, so it must have been at least five years old, maybe older. There's this guy here, he's just one I bred a year or two ago. Funny little things. They quite often respond though if you do that. Cricket yeah. man. These are good tweezers. The males don't seem to like the hand feeding. Whereas the females just go, yeah, yeah, give it to me. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'll eat all day long. Just get that fuck ass. Both pools. What's that?
It's hard work this frogging. He's croaking. I can't even see a frog croaking, eh? Oh, we're getting excited, eh? They've just come out of brumation about four weeks ago. Just been fattening this, this few up, these few up. Wow. <laughs> 